Bro, the One Piece live action, you guys think it's gonna be pure ass or what? That Sanji scene uh, looked cool though, I can't even lie. It was cringe, but it looked cool at the same time. I mean, some of the scenes look good. I mean, Zoro looks good too. I can't even lie, bro. Just the, the guy they cast there for uh, Luffy is, is not it. You caught up? Fuck no, dude. I don't even know where I left off. Most overhyped show ever? What, One Piece? One Piece is probably the best anime ever made, bro. Are oh, The Simpsons? The Simpsons comes hard second. Like with a thousand episodes, let's go, bro. Yeah, that's the thing. It, it is just way too long of a fucking anime, though. You're not wrong. Shut up, weebs. <laughs> Walmart. It's back up with Peaky Blinders and I realized while watching Tommy Shelby is lying. Hell yeah. Great show. One of my favorite shows ever. Sucks it ended. Good ending though. Wait, did it end yet? I can't remember now. It ended, right? Are they like doing a movie? Or am I thinking of a different show? The movie ends the show like it did with Last Kingdom or no? Yeah, they're doing a movie to finish it off. Hell yeah. Do you have a presentation? Yeah. Mm. Okay, that helps because then I know what's There might not be a movie with all the strikes going on, but who knows? True. Okay. True, true, true. Was the last thing the movie good? Uh, it was pretty good. I would prefer to, uh, a show to end or a season to end the, the show, but it was pretty good. Oh, looking sick. Sorry, 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 sorry.
They guys winning it all this year to AD winning MVP. Yes, sir. Who are part of the, the new TSM CSGO team? Yep. I'm going to be the, the lead for that team. What the fuck? Wasn't CSGO 2 supposed to come out during the summer? Why is it delayed? Have they said anything? It's still summer, technically. Yeah, true. Hello, good morning, everyone. What a wonderful Tuesday. I'm so happy that everyone is here and I'm ready to start business. Thank you. Oh, that, was, that was the wrong thing, guys. I'm not shooting up. That would have been crazy. Wouldn't that have been crazy if I just, like, you know, pulled out my gunners like, you know? Crazy. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Oh, that'd be a serious too soon, Lexi. Why? Oh shit! Right. Right. To be honest, I I slept all day yesterday. I don't know what happened. It was like a blur. Water is on fire. Mm -mm -mm. Matter how I try, my love, I cannot hide. I can't help myself. Oh my God, Harry's on time. Just join the queue. Yeah. Broad shoulders you have, Mr. Collins. <laughs> Holy shit, Harry, you're early. Hi, Harry. What's up, guys? How we doing? Hello. Ah, Sam. Sugar pie, honey, man. I gotta pull out my notes. Ow. Ow, my fucking ears. Sorry, chat. My fucking mouse is broken.
Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Zuko, get away from there. Don't be stiff in that. <clears throat> All right, Harry, go ahead. Kick this shit off. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, appreciate you all showing up. Obviously, for uh, unforeseen circumstances, we had to swap the meeting to today instead of uh, Monday. So, good turnout. Great to see all those faces. Really, um, you mean it? Yes. Yes. As as no surprise to anyone. Uh. Fucking useless Leslie Lindberg isn't here. Um, yep. He'll be fired soon, so don't worry. It's okay. You know, you're all true. thinking it. It's that coming. Is true, yeah. Uh, who else isn't here? Who else can I shame today? Kitty, Penny. Well, no surprises there, is there? So we'll, we'll Penny's, move on. Penny's a late night girl. Right. Late night, more like she, letting the fucking restaurant die. Food's never stocked up anymore. Managers will fucking a, show up. We're waiting for fucking money. Fucking Customers will come to the fucking door. Gen. Yeah, fucking excuses. Ah, uh, well, you know. All right. Uh, Eve, let's go ahead. Guys, I did take notes of what everybody claimed they were doing last week. So you fucking try to lie and bullshit. You're doing shit. Just know it's being noted down. So if you find yourself fired, sorry. Go ahead, Eve. All right. I have a whole presentation. So let me. Um, do right. Have one. Wait for YouTube. Uh, Eve, did you work on this presentation yeah. alone, or should we credit uh, yes, anybody else here? Okay. Yeah, I did. All right, that's that one for each this of you. So just on. make sure you. Uh... No, Malo. Are you sure? Um, uh, here, go ahead and grab the book out uh, there. For you. Oh, thanks. Uh, right there, you go, Max. Thank Everybody you. get one? Yeah. Oh, all right. Let me know when I can turn the page, Eve. All right. Um, all right, I'll books. open it right now. Okay, so this is a service assessment of all the companies we currently have. So essentially, this is um, moving forward. We're going to see if we should sell, revamp, or keep any of the current companies we have. And um, just to note, before we move on, I did forget to add products in our drive. So sorry, Nancy. Um, all right, so moving forward, we can see all the companies that we have acquired and that we have lost during the time of us having servers. So on the first page, um, we can see that we've, um, we, have, we currently have Bilbo Directors, our mother company, Cerberus. We have Cerberus Industries, Cerberus Industries Armonies. We have our legal department. We no longer have CPD, the Diamond Casino, um, the hotel side of it. On page two, we have the sports book. We don't no longer have um, Diamond Hand Credit because it doesn't work anymore. Gold Rush, Hero Wine, Link of Mining, Belfast Entertainment, Autos Autos, Autos Gas, PDM. Then on page three, P1, Roosters Capco, Roosters Inn, Roosters Ranch, Roosters Rest, Roosters Retreat, Sionis Industries, Split Size. Page four are our company shares and mergers that I am aware of. Gold Rush, Pablo Lotto, Sign Radio, and x -Mart. Then on page five, uh, my understanding of what I think, which I added stickers on, which is red and green of what I think we should probably get rid of and then keep and maybe some suggestions. So for billboard directors, we sell billboards. It's a pure profit company. And we split it with Michael Simone, 20-20-40. And the 40% split goes to um, one of the um, state accounts. Jesus. Um, I'm not too sure which state account, but I think it goes to state account one. Um, and if you guys have any questions during any of this, please feel free to ask. I have a question. 20% missing? Um, potentially, 20, sorry. 20, 40. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think it's 40, 40, 20 then. Oh, God. Tim? It's my understanding that it was a 20-20 split and then the extra 60 was supposed to go okay, for the yeah, construction 60. piece. Yeah, I, I, oh, I sure. apologize for that, yeah. Why Harry? has this one got a red sticker? Um, because uh, so far there hasn't gone too much work into it. Uh, um, 
it's a, it's a lot of work for me and Nancy to put in. And I think fighting for it was a mistake on my part. So I do apologize for that. And I think we should get rid of the company in all and just uh, give it all to Michael to deal with. All right. I I disagree, but I'll bring up that point later. When I, oh, we can talk about it now while we're on top on the topic. That's well, what it's there here was for. Something, there was something I was going to bring up on my on my turn that's kind of similar to this. So I'll just add it into that. Okay. Um, service industries, um, we, we control, you know, what hot technology comes into the city. Um, everybody loves the wingsuits. People love doing adventure stuff. I know that there's new ideas cooking and we can always um, pioneer new technology into service industry. So I think it's worth keeping and, um, all from us are going in is new innovative, innovative ideas and, um, just pioneering honestly so i think service industries is a really good company for us to keep and yeah. obviously anything with the word cerberus in us is um to be name changed so it's something we have to keep in mind as well all right um next page so the mother company cerberus is going to be rebranded we're going to be moving location we're going to be merging companies um new employees innovative ideas and yeah we're probably going to be looking for more ideas, more shining candles, no more melted candles, as Lang has said in the past. And I would hope that more, most of the companies I'm mentioning, I hope that we can look into maybe merging more of the companies as well. For example, uh, the next company, the Indus Industries Armory, maybe also putting that into just um, CI and CIA, maybe merging those two together because um, on page seven, we are still dealing with um, giving things to the PD and we can still work on that because I know a few ideas fell through. I don't know what happened to us giving the PD some of the um, weapon parts and that stopped and I can't, don't, I still don't understand why that stopped. It stopped with Bucky and I still need to figure out why that stopped. Um, Tim, do you know why that stopped? He, he, Bucky mentioned something. I need to follow up with him on that because I'm not entirely clear as to what happened. And on top of this, uh, yesterday, um, somebody leaked the whole contract of um, CIA on Twitter as well. Um, TJ had that and he posted that whole contract on Twitter. Wow. Yeah, I have some information about, I have some information about that. It's fucking stupid. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll tell you when it comes around. I mean, it sounds important. You can go ahead and just let us know now, Nance. Oh, uh, he phoned me last week about this um, before the war kicked off yesterday and basically said that um, he got an anonymous ping about it to where the contract was. Um, he read me part of the contract and I covered it and just said, oh, this is CPD because he said the contract is a year old. And I said, yeah, that's got to be CPD. It's it's nothing else. I told right. um, uh, I told Eve and Tim about it. And we were like, okay, easy cover. That's not a problem, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make sense. He didn't actually like tell me the rest of the contract. It doesn't make sense for anybody to have had that except for PD. So if he was joined forces with Kyle Pred, my guess is Pred is the one that leaked it to him. Yeah. That adds up. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's that, the information yeah, that I have on thing, that. Yeah. That whole thing was that. And as well, the missile deal was very public as the previous mayor had a whole mm. thing on Cyan radio where he said how much we charge, how much this, how much everybody makes. And yeah, that it stopped being private knowledge when that was just advertised on the radio. You got enemies everywhere, brother. All right, next page, uh, the Diamond Casino. Um, so we don't really do much with the casino anymore. Some uh, Every now and then I have somebody approach me who says they want to do poker tournaments. It happens twice a month, maybe. Um, we could revamp it, but in my opinion, if we, we really want to revamp it, it's going to need a lot of work and something new and exciting is going to need to be added. Most people gamble at roosters anyway. Um, so yeah. I added a red sticker to it. Um, and I know Max is working on a lot of new, exciting games that could be additionally added to, um, some of our companies. So that is something that we need to look into. Um, the Diamond Sportsbook, I know that we... Can, can, um, sorry, can yeah? we go back to the casino mm -hmm. for a second? Um, yeah, yeah. 
I, I do know Aegis has the control of the gaming commission, so mm -hmm. I know we're going to have to figure out some interplay between the gaming commission and the casino if we were to keep that going forward. True. Good point, Tim. All right. That is, that's something I can add to it as well. Then Diamond Sportsbooks, I know that we um, got it from when we took over most of the companies from um, Dean, but I know that we could probably... Um, sell the shares back to Rami um, as we haven't seen any profits from um, having, having a hand in the company since being in, in the company at all. Am I wrong? Uh, no. I don't think so. So that's on Rami and his accounting team because as a um, bookie, like, I'm I'm seeing all of the stuff that's going into it. I mean, just for example, there's a Premier League game set up for September 3rd, and there's over half a million dollars on Arsenal right now. Like this company is still making a lot of money. Yeah, I, th I think is... if we pump, uh, we can pump it too. Like we can actually do so much with the uh, the sports betting. To really, yeah, we uh... just they need an accountant that actually sends money through. Yeah, we haven't seen. We just haven't seen any profits, and we haven't taken any profits from it. So I think we're losing out a lot of money in it. Well, I'm looking just to buy um, the company from Rami, anyways. Okay, then yeah. uh, then we can we can we can rework that angle. Yeah. All right, Diamond Hand Loans. Um, I know that uh, it's in debt to the state. Yeah, yeah we, can, um, just, however, we can just skip. We can just skip Diamond Hand Loans. Okay. Go next. All right. Okay. <laughs> next. All right. Um. Yeah. Gold Rush. I don't know what to say about that. We. <laughs> we. Wow. I like that. Yeah. I, I like that one. I like that. We got yeah. blocked on this one because we did. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really, we tried, we tried with Mickey, to, you know, to go the legal route and then Mickey fucked it up by, you know, getting his bar license taken away before he even had it for less than a week. Um, so I, I think it's a loss. We should just ask them to, you know, buy it out from us. Yeah. Um, Hero Wine, I would like to change up the operations because the issue we have with operations right now, one, um, one fertilizing session of wine gives us way too much um, grapes and that would last us way too long. So I'd like to see if we can talk to the harvesters, the harvesting process as well and change it up a bit. And I'd like to incorporate a bit more wine tours as well and involve a okay. bit more people with that. Um, so I'd like to work with a bit more company. people. Yeah, we can, we can change a lot of stuff with it. We can change a lot up with it. And I'd like to see the, the vineyard be used a lot more as well. I think there's a, still a lot more potential with Hero Wine. Oh, I use um, it to gold pan. Great place. Link Hope Mining is such an easy material access. Um, we get booked out every single, every single storm. It's one of our easiest profit companies, but we can't make it better. That's the issue with Link Hope Mining. So I'd like to see us do something more with the material ac um, acquisition with it, but um, it's something we can work on. Obvious Entertainment is um, Nancy's baby. Um, I know she has more ideas with bringing in um, Airsoft, um, but I'm sure she has more ideas working on that as well. Nancy? Uh, Airsoft, bringing in event planners, like I've discussed, we have an event coming up next week with the RC cars with a new guy who wants to start doing stuff. Um, it, arena's popping. Uh, events are popping, Orpheus is popping. It's great. I still have the um, skeleton for esports if you ever want it to. If Airsoft, Airsoft ever comes. Oh, yes, okay, Marlo, good shit. Uh, we got skip through autos. We know it makes money. PDM, we know it makes mm -hmm. fucking money. Roosters Capco. I um, would just, I would no. just like to note on Auto's gas. Um, I know that the people who run oil, I know there's less and less uh, civilians who are actually mm -hmm. pumping gas and Max can probably just shed light on that. And I think it's gonna become an issue in the near future that we need to keep an eye on as well to incentivize people to actually want to pump gas because you know any terrorist can actually own a gas station, but you have you can't even have a speeding ticket to run an oil pump. Well, you can have a speeding ticket for that. <laughs> it's anything that's a misdemeanor or felony. I will say it is starting <laughs> to become an issue because I've seen that Sarah's been looking for gas on Twitter. <laughs> So it They've, is already becoming an issue for those. That's 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 terrorist terrorist they have changed now. that, though, because Oof, there are people they? with records who now have oil pumps, and I've questioned about it, and it was just kind of like, yeah, well, I mean, I have one. Wait, who has one? I can't remember. I remember having the conversation, and I was like, you have a criminal record. And they said, yeah, I sure do, but I have an oil pump now. So 
I haven't been stopped yet. Okay. So it's not being looked at. It's not being audited. No, I just, I can't remember who it is, but I, if I remember, I'll obviously tell you, I have no problem. They removed, well, essentially what happened with the last five people they brought in, three of them have robbed a bank. One of them has stopped showing up and there's only one that is left from that batch. So they are still definitely keep an eye on it. They may have just uh, missed one, I guess. But there is definitely yeah, a dwindling sure. amount of people doing it. I go up there pretty much daily and I'm lucky to see maybe one person. Yeah, so that's an issue we'd have to take a, a, a case for the gas station. But other than that, um, Sarah does a great job at managing the gas station. All right, so we can skip the rest then. And then all our rooster companies do um, extremely well. The reef, um, I have an issue with the dispensary. I pay my employees extremely well, but I don't. I sometimes I sell more of my secondary item, which is coffee, than actual joints. My joints Damn. go bad more so often than people buying them because people have other means of stress relief and um, feeling stronger because of rings and um, <clears throat> Jewel Dragon, new, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the pharmaceutical company of Michael uh, who has anti-stress medication all of a sudden as well. So um, that is my issue with the dispensary at the moment. So I'd like to work on other means of having people want to buy weed as well. Okay. If all else um, fails, Eve, you can just make a very cute little coffee shop and say, Roosters Rest fucking... is good. Listen, Roosters Retreat is good. Uh, mm -hmm. Sionis, anything to speak about there? We're all good, right? Um, yeah, we're all good right now. Uh, I do have to get in touch with the current mayor to make sure that we're going to be getting, uh, you know, still our budget uh, okay. sent over. Um, that is something that I have to talk to Andy about. Uh, and the booklet for the materials should be all good by like the trading materials and everything and expansion should be all good by Thursday. Um, like our next basically meeting should be done before that, but yeah. Uh, Apologies for the budget? next pages. Uh, just oh, from the mayor's yeah. office perspective, because if it's a grant, we're not doing business grants anymore. We've no, it's, it's budgets. Those. It's, it's actual budget. budgets. Okay. Yeah. It's on the budget tab, Max. It's um for, it's for autos to get, it's for Sionis to buy materials. Um, and then it goes to autos for the PD budget. It, it's a whole thing. It's 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 that. Got you. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's basically uh, so that autos doesn't have to worry about it due to them being mainly like uh, government funded. Apologies for the next page. Um, it copied twice. Um, split sides. We lease this for to the public, and events get run out of this. Really, not a lot. And then Pablo Lotto. We never did anything with this, and we should probably just work on our own Lotto stuff. So I can speak with on... respect to the lotto, uh, I'm going to jump in again. Uh, Gaming Commission is allowed to run a state lotto, and it can contract that out to third parties. Wait, really? Yeah, that's Are in the scratch tickets. Mm -hmm. As for split sides, I can say that I believe there's someone new running it because they recently commissioned the library for all, a bunch of drinks. So I think they are going to start trying to do more there. Yeah, since it's like last thing i heard it was leased to somebody right yeah it's being leased yeah. to um some people who works under speedy and i think somebody called mama ho is trying to run events right now. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then siren radio i know we bought shares um with this but i was trying to get some of um our businesses on the radio for advertisements and that never happened um yeah, what's but siren that? radio what is an amazing show anyway is the show still going uh, yes, it is. I, I'm pretty sure they do bi-weekly or weekly shows. Okay. Yeah, Sophie was having a bit of an issue getting into the city regularly, so she mentioned that as much as she wants to continue doing it, it's just whenever she's able to be around at this point. It's just, a, you know, Nancy's just email me. Yeah, I got so you. So, uh... for Siren Radio, I will say, I believe the numbers are that we own 34 or 35%, and then the other 15%, I think, was Mila. Yeah, they also sell uh, radios and stuff too there now. Um, so it's probably just a conversation with Sophie, you know? Is that her name? Yeah. Sophie? Yeah, Sophie Sanders. And then XMART, we still somehow get our dividends every other week, every other month. So, uh, which no is complaints good because we can use that in court uh, whenever we try to hostile mm -hmm. take over the gas station. Yeah. 
And that's uh, and that's that. I miss the uh, product outro. And then the next uh, part two of this will probably just be um, me deep diving into which employees actually work at which companies and who should be fired. Yeah, I have the org chart moving right now, so I will get this finished up. The main Cerberus should be finished up within this meeting. The rest of it, uh, there's a lot of people that work at all of the other companies. All right, uh, Tim, you got anything? Good job, Eve. Thanks for that. That was fantastic. Yeah, 9.3 out of 10. Thank you. Tim? Lang, I had sent you the legislation for news and for the Army last week. Um, but given the that the war is basically done now, I don't know how relevant that's going to end up being. Uh, you never know. Marla, you're going to wait your turn and put your fucking hand down. In, in the meantime, the unless you got the pee, other... you go pee. Oh, go ahead, I was going to say, in the meantime, all of the other legal paperwork took a backseat for the war, but now that that's done, I can focus on getting all that done. All right. Uh, Sid? Um, I'm going to get an expungement. Um, I want to help Eve with some of the Aegis stuff uh, alongside Tim for the storefront. Uh, you know, business going on, it's, it's a bit of a mess. So I want to help out with that. Um, I'm working on my own presentation for next meeting uh, about some of the new ideas I have for potentially buildings, uh, facilities we can house, um, any kind of like mergers we can make. I want to work with Nancy and Eve on helping them to sort of maybe discover what we can do to minimize the amount of companies we have and like put some together, get rid of some, whichever ones we need to. Um, so I can work out which buildings we name we might need for the next uh, next place. I have some uh, PDM issues that I found out from some civilians that I want to bring up to Max Power, but he's not been around. Um, I want to also try and maybe revive some security stuff uh, with not CBPD, but maybe um, bring some gadget ideas to Nance at Cerberus Industries. Um, but the main thing I wanted to talk about was what we're going to be doing with this building. Um, I, I know it's going to be owned potentially by the new company, but be public. Um, but we do need to figure out what we need to do with the offices we have here because someone's still going to need to sell those potentially. And I was thinking about bringing them under um, Olympus because Olympus Interiors is a Cerberus business still. So um, I was thinking bringing the offices under Olympus and continuing the sales under there. Um, also the billboards uh, that we were talking about. I know if you want to potentially get rid of the company and sell it all to Michael, but I also don't mind maybe bringing that under Olympus as well and um, just doing all the work under Olympus as well for that because I don't mind working with uh, with Michael on that as well. Okay, is that everything said? Uh, yeah, until next week. I have a presentation then. Well, until next meeting, sorry. All right, Max? So unfortunately, since I was directly threatened as a prisoner of war i've been in police protection like I, I couldn't even leave my house without being in police protection most of the last week however i have been brainstorming about the media things like to do with the uh, new step we're taking with the movie industry and everything yeah. i've been thinking about how we're going to sort out the media transfers we, we've kind of got a few options with it like i've seen going from cameraman to editor there's google drive which is the free option, but it depends how large the files are going to be. If we have multiple cameramen, it's going to be quite a few files mm -hmm. that we have to keep stored. There is also a company by the name of Massive.io, which is kind of an industry standard. However, that would need some monthly costs involved with it, but we would be able to transfer more larger files that way. As for the rest of it, I've been going over both the uh, all of the pre-production, production, and post-production side of things, and finding ways that we can maybe smoothen out the process to make it a bit more of a, well, just a smoother experience altogether. 
I've got a list of that which we can bring to the table when we go more into it. All right. And the only other update is that I was on PD, like, with PD most of yesterday, and I can confirm that a lot of missiles were used, so we've got a lot of money coming our way. Jesus. Okay. Oh, yeah. right. And that's everything. All right, Marlo. Um, I ain't got nothing. All right, Fiona. Um, yeah, I've not been. I've been kind of having some stress relief days, so I haven't done too much. But um, should have two new employees or new employees. I should introduce you guys on Thursday. Um, I'm gonna start our employee check-ins this week to make sure everyone's doing okay. Um, Ari, you're one point away from your major punishment, so what? keep it up. Uh huh. Looked at our uh, strike sheet, and you're literally one away from yeah, the. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. How'd that happen? How many do I have? How many do I have? Uh, you have a lot. You have too many. Oh. So when the new uh, punishments come through, because I'm working on rehashing the whole HR department, you will be the first one to know, Lexi. Um, I also have two. Um, feedback so that I want to read as well. Real quick. Okay. Okay, number one. I think Lang needs to stop telling people to shut the fuck up. I do not feel valued in the workplace. I have eczema and I'm already in enough pain. I do not need this. Classic. So, um, Lang, um, that one was for you, I guess. Uh, do you have anything to say to that? Uh, no. Okay. And our next one says, Hari is so smelly. Hari, um, I'm going to need to ask you to shower before you come to work in the morning, okay? That's illegal. <laughs> I can smell you across the table. Are you serious? Uh, Hari, I will ask you to do that as well. I wear crack and deodorant. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? You wear crack? You wear crack? And deodorant? Kraken! Like the uh, I have a Kraken roll on. I use it every morning. Oh, the fuck, man! It's not me. It's very it's pungent, Harry. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you I have mean, to Harry's shower defense, first. Didn't he also mention having some kind of medical condition with his kidneys a while back? I don't know if we can discriminate based on that. He pisses Thank himself. Not discriminating. He wears diapers. Uh, Harry, I clear. I didn't write that about you. It was clearly Eve because uh, me and you, me and her, sit closest to you. So, just so you know. Uh, is that everything, uh, Fifi? Mm-hmm. All right, Dewey? All right, so I know I talked about the last meeting. I was going to do my uh, rooster HR inspection. I'm going to be doing that this week. And uh, as Fiona said, we have some new people in the uh, HR department. I'm going to bring one of them along to shadow with me. We performed that. So this week I'll have some, uh, hopefully, a pretty good observation of what's going on at the rooster. Uh, another thing is I'm going to be looking into uh, some things I heard about PDM. Uh, I heard that there was a customer who went over there, test drove a car, got put on a list, and they needed approval for it. Uh, and then a month later, they were not notified of approval or disapproval. Uh, and apparently, the car had been sold to four other people in that time. So Jesus I'm going to be looking Christ. into that. I'm going to be speaking with their, uh, their sales reps, their management. I'm going to get to the bottom of this because this has been a problem for a very long time. Hmm. It's even happened to me like three years ago. I tried to buy a car from them. All right. Get to the fucking bottom of it. Do we fire whoever's responsible? Yeah, that seems right, I'm going to do it. Okay. And then, uh, since Penny's not here, I will talk about some uh, new rooster stuff. Uh, the menu. It is being worked on currently, so it will be ready hopefully soon. Because uh, we got everything we want on the menu. Give you guys some hints. Uh, oh, yeah. We're gonna be we're expanding the menu to touch on all corners of Asian cuisine. Gotta throw some gabagool in there. Ooh, new meals. Wait, we can throw some gabagool in that. Perfect. Oh my god, ramen with an ice cube. Don't get rid of that, please. No, getting we, rid of we'll, ramen. We're keeping the ramen, thank, thank the you. mac and cheese, and the black tea because they are legacy items. It's true. And you're keeping uh, the ice cubes in the kitchen. We'll keep, we'll keep the ice cubes. Yes, I won. Uh, and then also, uh, the rooster employees uh, have been paid their dues from the uh, 
the whole Rust situation, so they have been paid out for that. So I'm putting together an invoice that I will send over you to uh, you, Eve. Uh, All right, I hell yeah. Take care of it. All right, and that is everything I got for this week. All right, Lexi. Hey, I mean, I already touched base on the actual, like, while we were doing the presentation. Um, however, going through the presentation, if uh, we ever want to expand into Lotto, um, I'm kind of down to help run that, uh, in a sense, if that was something that, you know, ages or whatever, however that would operate, I guess I can talk to Eve about it or you, Tim. Um, just because I feel like scratch off tickets are freaking great. And, uh, it's something that I can run through just as its own business, but also through like pawn hub essentially, uh, since a lot of people go through there every single day. Um, and it's a pain in my ass, but yeah. I'm kind of open to doing that if you wanted to set up a new business under the new name. All right. Hell yeah. If I'm not fired. Um, no, not really. I've just been sitting brainstorming to be honest, but I'm running into problems where I feel like everything's already done. So it's a hard problem to overcome. Yeah. Sort of. So I'm just, just, (sighs) I'm running around the island on foot, just looking for inspiration. Well, hopefully you'll find it soon, Lex. At least you're trying. Better than most people. Yeah, I'm trying. I'll interject and say, if we are going to set up a new lotto company, we should probably try and sell back the shares of Pablo Lotto and then just use Aegis to say, nope, sorry, we're not going with you. No. Ooh, Thanks. that'd be a good one. Uh, I'm actually just about to email you something. Okay. I thought we owned part of the card company. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, because then remember when we fired Arsenal, he was like, service is the reason why we don't got Gen 2. It was a whole Well, Gen 2 is coming, so I know, James Arsenal I'm can pretty suck sure it. we own part of it. I think no, I, I, it. I don't think we ever pay that money. Uh, I think he wanted us to, but I don't think we ever transferred any money. Um, anyways, uh, so that's that's our active employees currently uh, and what they're meant to be doing. If we, like, when we move forward to the new company, obviously we can revisit this and slot people into where they need to be and then actually do a proper org chart at that time where there is a sort of better chain of command instead of just let's always go to even Nancy it's let's go to the person who should be dealing with this I like it yeah Um, and then that yeah and then that'll also assist with people doing their jobs because we're going to have more clear defined job roles Um, the other things that I've been working on has just been event stuff for Orpheus recently and getting stuff for the PD for the war so was able to get like a half million dollar sale from them for a bunch of stuff that I'm not even sure that they used. All right, anything else? From me? Chain of command? Yeah, or in you, general? Nance. Not from you, Nance. Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't been around too much since last meeting to do stuff, so. All right, guys, that wraps up uh, today's meeting. Uh, I've been taking notes uh, actively. Uh, if you're not getting shit done, you should be sweating. If you feel like I'm talking about you, I probably am. All right. Uh, we yes, did have sir. a crazy week of uh, whatever this war shit was. Uh, massive uh, falling out uh, will probably occur from it. Uh, A lot of assets and businesses will be seized. I'm not sure what the Senate's plan uh, is with that, but uh, if there's a way for us to, uh, you know, buy everything up, we're probably going to do that. Can I buy one? Hmm. Buy what? Can I have it? Can I have that dog? Yeah, you can. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So just keep an eye out on assets and businesses that are going to be up for sale. Yeah. Just keep an eye out for that. Uh, We're still progressing with the, uh, with the rebrand. Uh, 
I have to talk to Leslie. Uh, we, we've you know narrowed it down to a few spots, uh, see what he thinks, and then we move forward from there. And then probably the Tim, whenever you finish those contracts for the new hires, please let me know because uh, we'll be getting some new faces in the company as well. Yep, sounds good. And then once you and Leslie figure out the structure for the new company, let me know, and that way I can finalize the paperwork on that end too. All right. Everybody have a great fucking uh, Tuesday. War's Hell over. Yeah. It's time for peace, hopefully. So we'll see what happens. Not hopefully. if TJ Walker has a phone in prison. I've never oh, had God, a It's going to be, th it's gonna be 30 chance. years of him tweeting propaganda. I don't want to be a prisoner of war. Mm. Uh, Lang, real quick. Um, I've done the um, business proposal for the entertainment company. I don't have a name, but I just made it Vinewood Production and Entertainment. Um, the CEO is going to be Fredo, right? Yeah, but we have okay. to wait. Tim, we done that merger yet? Coming. Hey, did we wrap up the merger with uh, Marlowe's Entertainment Company? Not yet. I need to work on that. All right. Just make sure we get that done ASAP. Yep. I will make that my first priority. All right. Uh, Marlo, you should bring Max to that meeting with uh, Fredo. Max? Hey. I don't hey, know if I remember. He's got ideas for uh, for the entertainment shit. And then just let me know how it goes. I I'll try to make it if I can, but I, I got to handle a couple things after this. So. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so do you want me to submit that anyway or just wait on it still? It's uh, done. Let's wait on the merger first and then we submit that. But we should okay. uh, get a proposal done to uh, hopefully acquire the movie theater up in Vinewood. Um, yes, yeah, so that's probably what I want to do, but it's like I don't have a name, so it's just awkward. Uh, fuck, you're not wrong. I'll think of a name today and I'll text it to you, all right? Okay, perfect. All right. Hi, bye. Bye bye. Steve. Get out of here, Harry. All right. Mm. Uh, that's uh, everybody uh, going out. The Spiegel's around. No, what? Yeah, where the fuck has Leslie been? Fucking asshole. Let's see. Lang, I need the names of those people you were hiring in. I think you started giving me the list and then didn't finish. Uh, Alfredo something and Vito something. Uh, you got to ask him. She probably knows her full uh, names. Alfredo. Okay. So Alfredo just Alfredo and Vito, and Vito just the two of them? Yeah, for now, yeah. All right. Uh, also, uh, can I hire a new accountant? Yes, please. Make them legit, though, please. Um, I warned him that everybody dies, and he says, uh, sign me up. They go sign an NDA and that he can't disclose any information to anybody, not even if his fucking life's in danger. You might make sure he's wrapped up in fucking contracts where he owns his life, all right? All right. Well, he's an Italian. It's Carlo. Well, still, still make him commit to contracts. Okay. All right. Did I drive here? Fuck, did you drive here, Harry? Hey. Uh, Tim. I brought BMX. Oh, it's got pegs on it? Yeah, what's up, Sid? No. Uh, Let's go rent the car, come on. Fuck. You really don't have a car here? No, I don't think so. I'll double check, but... How'd you get here? Slow down. I, 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 I walked. It's the one day I decided to bike to work. Come on. I have stuff in the apartments. You have a car there? Yeah. But I probably, I probably have a car there. Let's just go over there. I probably have a car there. 